हेलो फ्रेंड्स वन सेकेंड वेलकम टू अभ्यास ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट इन फ्यू वीडियोस वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट फाइल मैनेजमेंट इन लैब व्यू इन द फाइल मैनेजमेंट वी विल बी वर्किंग विद डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ फाइल्स लाइक टेक्स्ट फाइल सी एस बी फाइल एक्सेल फाइल्स एंड ऑल काइंड ऑफ फाइल्स वी विल बी वर्किंग एंड वाट वी विल बी डूइंग वी विल बी लोडिंग दैट फाइल टू लैब व्यू वी विल बी मॉडिफाइंग दैट टेक्सट और कॉलम्स रो वी विल परफॉर्म वेरियस ऑपरेशन ऑन दैट सो यू विल विल गेट फेमिलियर विथ एवरी थिंग रिलेटेड टू फाइल मैनेजमेंट इन लैब व्यू okay then we will try to write that file we will generate some signals right that we do in measurement as well okay and then we will write that file in csv or any kind of file so you can use that file for further processing if you want to if you are not using for that purpose okay so let's start with that so let's see what lab you provide us for file input output so here you can see we are having that function file input output so in that you can see several options are there so it might be confusing which option we will be using to load all those files write that files okay and we are having few xml file we can work with that right we can work with wave form file input output to write even zip file and we have some advanced function as well like you can see file position file size so we will be working all of them so in this first video what we are going to do we will work with some text file we will try to load that text file in lab view so for this purpose what i have done i have just copied description of one of our video i think it's last video and i have just copied that text over here and what we will do we will read this file in our lab view and will show the exact same code so it will be a very simple and basic video that we are going to do so let's see what we can do just right click we will go to file so here you can see we are having a multiple file right open create a file right and so in this what we are going to do we are using going to use a very simple function like read from text file so we are going to use this function read from text file and before dive into deep let's just analyze their pins or their that port of that function okay so what we can do we can go to the detail help it's always helpful to open the help window right because even we cannot remember every functionality of every pin right so here you can see what is that first pin is about it is open existing file so it will open a promote window like any dialog box and you can select file okay so by default if you are not going to pin any file okay so that function what we will do every time you are going to run your vi one pop up will come up and it will ask for a file if you are not going to load any file it will return an error then in next what we can do we can create an one control type of stuff and we can select a file that we are going to work with it right and we can make it default so every time that i will run it will load the same file okay then what we are having we are having a count so it will read lines or count so we will see that functionality in deep as well because it's very important to work with the count as well right then we are having error in and error out if you are going to work with error we will do in future right then what we are having we have a reference out so that reference out is what is that so as you know we have generated reference for vi and we have set few property with that right so similarly when we are getting a reference of any file so we can use file function to work with it not we cannot use all of the uh, application reference like property not in book now we cannot use them right but what we can do we can use several functionality that we are having in file yeah so here you can see plus file you can see that refnum so we can put that reference of that file over here right so that reference is going to be a very helpful for us as well so there are multiple function so we can use that reference right then next what we are having we are having that text if we are using so normally what we are going to do we are going to read the text of that text file so that uh, potent that line will display that text but then we have a cancel true so yeah we will see the functionality of it but it's important like if you are going to upload file or not so it will return true or false whether file is uploaded or file is not uploaded okay so you can read that de detail as well if you want to then i am not going to read that so now what we are having so you can see we are having this stuff right so let's see just run that vi we are not having any error so let me just run 
so as I said whenever if we are not connecting any control or anything with those pin by default when pop-up will open and it will ask for VI if I we are not going to upload it we can cancel it and lab will return an error so this is how it's going to work if you will click on continue again that pop-up will open if you will not then we can stop it right so this is a one part how that pop-up can open so every, so every time we can upload a new file so this time what we will do we will create one use dialog so what i will do i will create a control here right so let me just put it there so we are having this guy right so what will happen what i am going to do we can increase the size of this right and we can click on this one and we can select this file so now our file is selected so whenever you are going to run it you can see the pop-up is not open because what we have done we have already provided the reference to that file and you can see the entire path here right so we will connect count later so let's see in output what we can have so let's create an indicator and let's name it as file text okay so this will be our file text so we can increase it, the size of it because we are having a big size text okay so let's see so let me click on run so here you can see the text of that file so you have got exactly the same text so it this is a same line if you want to see the line and all so you can just what we can do you can increase the size and you can see everything uh, present in that file right so yeah so this is how we can read the file so next what we will do so let's see another option like if we want to determine the length of that text present in the file okay or before diving into that let's come in the front panel and let's see the property of that text so just right click over here so here you can see we have selected the normal display type right normal display means it is displaying the text so if i select on code so you can see every space every line change they, this will be represented by their code or like i can say backslash s is for the space backslash n for line change right so this is how it's going to display then we have a password display if you are using password field so you can use this stuff and then hex display as well we can convert that data in hexadecimal data so let keep it as a normal display right then what we have update value while typing so whenever you are typing that value can update and visual item is nothing find terminal process stuff or yeah if we will work on that so that all this will be a fit to the whole panel so we are not going to do that okay yeah that's i think yeah, we can limit to a single line so only single line will be displayed i guess okay so okay let's see more op option available here now so you can see this in the, if you want to check the type of it so the type of this will be our mm, string right so what we will do we will put one while loop and we will put over here and let's give control for this and let's go to a string then we can trim the string string constant yeah okay let's check the length of that string right so we can click here we can click here then we will get length of text so whatever the length of the text present so we can read the length of that text so you can see we are having 666 okay so if we will change anything like let me delete this line i say whole line right and let me save it so let's run that program again so you can see check the length has been changed so this is how we can import text file in lab view it's a very simple nothing else so okay let's see that count as well so let me just create control for this 
right and for now by default count is minus one so whole text will be read it let me just change it to two so you can see only two word has been <coughs> checked so if you remember our whole length it was around 400 right so if we will do it like a 500 you can see like we cannot give that count more than our word count present in the text so we have to be very specific about it what is the count of the word right so this is how that count is going to work for us so let's save this file and we will use this file in future okay so that's enough for this video